all right guys so i've written i'm back and I've, I've written out the whole processes all right so let's just go through it and then we'll, i will do the video one after the other so this video will be a bit long it will be it will be a bit long but then you will be able to link your oex uh comfortably all right so see stage one in your metamask you make sure you have at least 0 0.02 core as gas fees all right so first things first you need to add the open ex long dot open ex um network address this is the network over here this is the address over here there are two ways to go about this you can do it automatically you can do it manually this is the network over this is the network name over here um, long dot open ex then this is the id this is the explorer and um, all these things are links all these things are links so when i'll be dropping it in the description there will be links such that you just tap it and it will direct you all right then this stage two you go to the faucet and you receive the stage two here you go to the faucet and you receive um 10 ussdt usdt testnet usdt that you use to carry out other transactions then stage three you go to your open browser open uh, metamax browser and you put in the oex then you get the wallet address and um your seed freeze then you download the app and let's just go into the video so you will see it for your we'll see it for ourselves all right so first things first let's go and launch metamask let's go and launch metamask let us see what it gives to us okay Metamask is open. This is one of the things where I don't really like Metamask. It takes a whole lot of time to just open. But then that's what we have to make do with. All right. And we are in. Okay. We are in. Why is it unable to load balance? As you can see from here, as you can see from here, I have 1.7 open OEX and I have 0.0886 USDT. Now look at this network from over here. You know this network over here as you can see i'm on open ex long testnet so if you come here you need to have core blockchain then before you get open ex long testnet so this is what you do this is what you do if you don't if you've not added the network before there is a manual way to add the network but then there's the automatic way it's the, it's the automatic way that i want to show you now now all right so let's say for instance now you're on core blockchain. Let's say, for instance, you're on core blockchain, and I have um, well, where's my core? I have some core here, and I have over eight cores. What is this? This network is MetaMask is just, okay. Yes, my core has arrived. Look at my core. I have about eight point one seven core. You need to have some core in your um, your MetaMask that will serve as gas fee because this open EX is like is so it's like a brainchild of the core network or probably they used the core app to mine it. they use satoshi core app to mine open ex all right so first things first you go and you type in this link here let me let me show us the link let me show us the address because i've copied it but let's just let me just show it to us what's this Copy this address over here. Long dot open x. That is it. Long dot um, open x. This address over here. Long dot open x dot network. Okay. I already have it on various tabs, so I'll just show you the addresses, and then you just go and replicate the same. I'll be dropping the addresses, the various addresses, in the description of this video. So you just go to your just copy it from the description and just paste it in your own metamask browser and then you are good to go all right so let's get into it without i don't want this video to be too long it will be a bit long but not too long maximum of 
15 to 20 minutes within not more than 20 minutes not more than 20 minutes it shouldn't be more than 20 minutes all right network helping what is all this now wow metamask okay it has opened and now let me show you the automatic way to do this so that once you do it automatically it will be added to your network so let me go to you see you see where i tap you see the button i tapped i tapped on the browser button for metamask see where i tapped i tapped on this i tapped on this browser button for metamask this particular one that's what i tapped so it brought out all these tabs for me and you can see the address over here you can see from over here look at the address you can see the address long.hub.openex.network okay now first off you need to come here you need to come here we need to come yes first off you need to come to ages.org you see you see the address also just be noticing the address first off this is the first thing you need to do if that is if you haven't done anything before this is the first thing you need to do notice the address ages.org all right so you come and click on connect to web3 if you if you don't have um call you just see from here you can add call mainnet you get you can add call mainnet then it will link it will add call mainnet automatically to one of your networks and this is where you see the network you're operating on from here on metamask so if you tap on this button now you can switch within networks you understand that's like within chain so let me click on connect with three it should, it should connect my the address it should connect my wallet address and then i'll be able to add this long um this long test net this one here and I'll, i should be able to add this long okay you can see that's i've already now this is it here there are three things you can do from this ages.org three things which are very vital you can first of all if you don't have long test nets among your networks if you just click on this button it will add it automatically you understand me it's added if you click if i come if i tap on this for instance now okay it will add, i'm coming let me just do something it will add it automatically then you can see your explorer from here and the swaps the various swaps you do for EGX and OpenEX, you can confirm them and transact them from here. You see, you understand. So they made it a bit easy, it's just a lack of explanations and access to understanding. That's what really made it difficult for people. But then I really, really paid the price. <laughs> I really, really sweated the whole lot to get this thing compact and you know, one after the other in a straight line graph, something like that. All right, so. For those who don't have long testing, just click on this long test net. And uh, this side would like to switch to the network. Click on switch network. And you see, I'm back on long test net. It's not active. You see that? Um, what's it called? You see that um, that response there? Good. So just click on claim US test net USD. Just, just click on. Now, what I discovered from my whole research was. Um, now see look at this here you need to have from other um from what they said from this from this thing here interact with the contract to receive 10 long testnet usdt that is interact with the contract to receive 10 long testnet usdt but then i discovered that it seems they reduced it to one you understand they reduced it to one so for you to get 10 long testnet usdt you need to claim this testnet GSDT about 10 times. So what I'll do is I'll just claim it about five times. Wow, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh. Okay. Claim test net token. You need to have little core for gas fees for this thing to go through. You understand? You need to have little core for gas fees for this thing to go through. Okay. How many minutes are we in? Okay, nine minutes plus. All right. I see my track. It's processing. It's processing. All right. You see, very, very, very low. Zero point zero zero one core. 
which is about um, 0 0.00167 could just confirm. I'll do this thing five times so that I'll have about five phases and I'll show you in the wallets. You'll see it in the wallets. Previously, this should have been enough to give me about 10 USDT for all the transactions I need. But from what I was, from the whole trial by error I did today and trying to get to understand how this whole thing works, I discovered that um, it doesn't really give 10. They started making it one. Let's go to our wallet and see if it has reflected. Okay, this is, um, I'm on call. Let me do it one more time. Let me just do it like three more times. So I don't, I don't want to start coming back again here. Yeah. I want to, I don't want to be switching networks. Let me claim again. You need, you need, you can do this in four or five times if you desire, or you do it once. People that did it earlier on, each one they did, they got 10 years and that was sufficient for the whole thing they have to do. But we late commas, not necessarily late commas, but then, you know, the system is congested presently. A whole lot of people are trying to do the thing at the same time. That was why I just had to exercise patience and um, cannot read property to string of undefined. Wow, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Let's see. Would it, would it go? Would it go? Would it go or not? Let's see. 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 Wow, so much notifications, so much updates in crypto, so many things to be done. So many, many things to be done. Wow, let me show you something so you understand what I was why I said I need to do it more times. Okay, this is one core blockchain, right? Let's change to open long, open ex long testnet. Now you see what I meant, right? See what I mean, right? You see what I you see what I was saying, she. Now you see that instead of giving us ten, this is what they give to us one point zero zero eight eight six USDT. You see what I did, right? You see what they give to us? Wow, wow, wow! Hey, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's go back, please. Hold on. Okay, guys, we're back. We're back. Sorry for that. It was just uh, MetaMask doing its MetaMask thing. Let's go back and go and claim. I'm on call chain now, so let's go back and just claim like two or three more USDT for the whole transactions we'll be doing. Okay, I don't know. I, I honestly can't launch a project and I'll use MetaMask. I honestly can't. On a very serious note, I just can't. Like thing with this. Presently for me, I have about two OEX and eight USDT. Now, you need to go and download the OpenEX app. This is the app over here. This is the app here. Look at the app here. Look at the app over here. Look at the app over here. I'll drop the link to this app in the description of this video. They, they simplified everything such that once you are done with this whole thing I was in earlier on MetaMask, just come here copy your um what's it called import your wallet keys and you can complete every other thing in the app as you can see now the balance has balance has reflected the two dollar i used to buy the oex has been removed from my usdt and it has been added to my oex so see these three buttons here these three buttons here close to this wallet address just click on it and it will show, see show private key all right, show private key. I would not show you my own private key. <laughs> Don't show anybody your private key, please. Please and please, I won't show you my private key. I will click, I will pause this video now, copy my private key, then I'll continue after I'm done. All right, so see you later, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I've copied my own private key, and then you come after downloading this the OpenEX app. 
open it. This is what the app looks like. Well, it's not strong to write right? all these notifications. Well, these notifications. All right, let's just open them and see what I mean. Okay, now in your own case, doing this for the first time, you see sign in, sign up, and imports. So for doing for the first time, just click on imports, and then you put in that your private key here. Okay, so I'll pause this video, then I'll come back after I've put in my private key. All right, so guys, and we're back. Okay, we're back already. So, like as you can see from here. I've put in my this thing. This is I have thirteen dollars, no real money presently. Then I have three OEX and I have um long test net and all this. I have six of that. So now this is the app here. There are five sections in the app. Let me show us. There are five sections in the app. There's the assets. There's the hub. There's trade. There's mission and then there's setting. Okay, each one of them have its own specific function. What it does. Assets like it total list of all the old assets we have presently as you can see from here i have just some this is where you look at i have the balance i have um just usdt and then oex you get then for we still need to do um we still need to have agex this particular one here this particular one here we still need to do this but then just watch as i will do it in this video and then you can do the same all right, so where we are mostly, you can just play around this. Look at how the whole thing works. This is the setting. This is the missions that we have to do. This is trade for swapping and all this thing. Then this is the hub. Hub is like the different things available. There's swap, there's faucet, there's team, there's EGX, there's bridge, there's take, there's airdrop, there's votes, there's claim, there's reward, there's launch, there's BTC and stuff. So only these two that are active presently that have been activated presently all right so this is where we are mostly interested in mission okay so the missions are not difficult they are really really easy you get if you just can just <sighs> my network is acting up what is this come in guys let me just okay and we're back so there's mission E, mission X, mission T, mission L, mission Z. Each of them have a different missions that have an integral role to play in the total, in the grand total of um, OEX. Mission E, the last one we'll do, this is the last one you have to do, it is to bind your email address. The email address you use in your Satoshi app, or not another one, because it is linked to your Satoshi app. It's the amount of open you have in your Satoshi app that will be airdropped here. Mission X is to link your Twitter account. Mission T is your Telegram account to the bot. Mission L is to swap. And then Mission Z is the quiz. All right. So each person you can, can just do each mission once. Okay. So let's go with Mission Z first. Please be aware this is a part of a simplified KYC procedure simulated, simulated for testing purposes on the testnet. The official version will be different. Please select the familiar language to start the testing upon completion and submission of the test. You will receive 10 long test nets USDT for testing. Okay, let's click on start. Now, one thing with this quiz is um, if you get any wrong answer, it will submit. So if you click on submit after doing all this and it's not submitting, it means you got one answer wrong. My network, what is this? What is happening? Come on, guys, let me do this thing. All right, guys, I'm about to start mission Z. Just follow me. Let's click on start. And we're faced with quiz. How should you protect your private key? Share it publicly, store it in a secure place, and do not share it with anyone. Write it on a piece of paper and this kind of paper. Store in a public place and not share it with any secure place and not share it with anyone. You don't hear what's in the talk. Store your private key in a secure place and not share it with anyone. They will scam you. What is blockchain? A technology that enables global communities to share equal a tamper-proof distributed digital ledger used to record transactions in distributed database. All of the above. Let's use all of the above. 
What is an ICU, Initial Coin Offering? It is a non-profit fundraising method for starting a new project. It is a process of investment through cryptocurrency into new cryptocurrency projects. Yeah, this is it. What is a cryptocurrency? It's a digital virtual currency that uses cryptography, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. How can you avoid scam links on Twitter? Click on all links. Only click on links sent by non-contacts. Don't click on any links. Only click on links sent by verified contacts. Let's do this. Submit. Wow. So I got one question wrong. Which one should she be? Mm, okay, let's change this to this. Let's see. It's going to happen. He got a big. <laughs> what is this now? Let me pass this and I'll get back to us. I beg. I don't want this video to be too long before. Oh. Sorry guys, I don't just know why this mission Z is not working. Uh, probably I'll come back to it. So just it's like quiz. These are the correct answers. I don't know why it's not submitting. How should you protect protect your private key? Store it in a secure place and do not share it with anyone. What is a blockchain? What is blockchain? A technology that enables global communities to share equally. The answer is all of the above. What's an ICU? It's a process, process of investment through cryptocurrencies into new cryptocurrency projects. That's what an ICU is. I don't know. What is cryptocurrency? This is the correct answer. How can you avoid scam links on Twitter? Only click on links sent by non contacts. Let me just see if this will work. Let me see. Well, it's not submitting. I'll come back to it. So that's mission Z, then mission L. For as you've done that first and gotten USDT now, we have USDT. We have look at it here. Look at this green tick that each one each of these things have. Look at this green tick here. This green tick here. This green tick here. This one doesn't have it yet. So we need to swap. Okay, we need to swap. So let's go to swap and get some EGIX. All right. So let's go to let's go to swap or trade. Let's go to trade. And want to trade, want to trade, want to trade. This is like this is like a normal spot trading. You just pick the pair you want. What is this now? What's this? Man, this app is this app is fucking this app is just making me go crazy man. This app is really really pissing me off. I don't just know. I hate things stressing me. I really really hate things stressing me. What's this? Okay. <laughs> I'm coming guys, I'm coming, please. Very good. Let me close this app and reopen it. Okay, it has opened. Okay, let's check for EGX. This is it here. This is it here. This is EGX over here. So let's click on that. And then to, we'll just say we'll just buy about two dollar worth of it. Let's click on it. Is that open now? Come in, guys. Let me do this. 